All right, friend, let's transition from our master screen to the detail screen. How can we do that? Now, if you are quite experienced with iOS development, then you know that we are going to use a segue. And more specifically, we are going to use a put a show segue from the master screen to the detail screen. But because we are in a UI collection view controller, we need to use other methods to do this own cell. So let's talk about that in the next demo. To create this transition from our photos collection view controller to the details screen, let's head over our main story bar. And then let's um, create a view controller over here that is our details screen, right? So let's drag out a view controller like that. And then let's put a image into the screen like this, right? And then let's use auto layout immediately. So zero, 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 like that. Cool. Now, there must be a way that we want to segue or we want to transition from one view controller to another view controller, which is from our photos collection view controller to our detail image view controller over here. How can we do that? There are two ways actually. Number one is you can directly control drag from your photo cells into this view controller. And number two is you create a manual segue, meaning that you will trigger that segue manually, holding the control key, drag from this view controller, this is the icon, to this guy and release it. And then you see there's a manual segue, let's use a show segue like this. Okay, now I just like to use the manual segue because I can trigger that in code whenever I want, just like that. And then let's use, select this segue and over the assistant, uh, the attribute inspector, you see that there is an identifier and that, let's change that into show image detail, like this. And then let's change this image into something like F1. Let's change our content mode into aspect fill. And let's change the title. Yeah, let's change that title later on. Cool? Okay. Now the next step is we have to create a custom class for this guy, right? So by the way, there's something over here. Let me close that. So let's right click into the controller, a new file. Let's use Squid file. And what is that? Let's go on this guy, detail view controller, because it is just a subclass of view UI view controller. Import UI kit, like that. And then let's create that class. So I have a class called to detail view controller, which is UI view controller, like this. And then let's have IB outlet wick var of category category image view which is your image view right and then now what is the public api for this category image view what is the public api for this oh this is the lower case where is the public api for this category image view yeah it is an image so let's pass into this guy an image of type your image now, when the view did load, let's call the view super that view did load. When the view did load, very simple, we make the uh, not category image view, just image view. Sorry. So we do image view dot image to be this image, right? And also we set the navigation item, navigation item, which is this guy over here dot title to be our photo like that and now let's go back into the main dot storyboard and we'll change the custom class for this view controller into detail view controller goes into the connection inspector connect our outlets for the image view over here into this image view and done pretty cool huh <laughs> Okay, now in the photos collection view controller, photos collection view controller, what is that? Photos collection view controller. Let's segue, let's trigger that segue from the action of when we tap a cell, 
an item like this and we segue into the detail screen. How can we do that? If we know about, if you remember about UI table view, then there is something we're calling UI table view delegate, meaning that we'll get the method called like this select row at index path or will select row at index path, those kinds of methods. Now it's the same, very much the same for collection view, is that we have the methods of UI collection view delegate, like this. Right? And then let's have the collection view the select item at index path. This is the select item at index path. So then let's have let the category to be our photo category subscript index path dot section. And then let's have the image of this category at this index path. So category dot uh, image names and then we index path dot item right then we got the image name but in order to turn that into an image we have to do your image with the named of this guy and I delete this guy so now we have the image next thing is we will trigger a segue but before we trigger a segue I want to store this selected image so var selected image selected image to be UI image like this and then we want to start in the, instead of this image into selected image to be the UI image like this and finally we called perform segue, perform segue with identifier and the identifier here let's put another string into our storyboard here which is static let's show detail we see, which is, oops, let me find out what is that trigger segue that we just set over here. I think that is show image detail. Okay, I'm copy that, go into photos collection view controller. And then we have this guy, show image detail. All right, now let's go back here. Uh, perform segue with identifier is storyboard dot show detail VC. Center is nil, like that. Awesome. Next up, let's have a mark for our navigation. Mark navigation like this. Now let's run the app and see how it looks like actually. Let's see it. Here we go. Okay, so here is our app. We have this beautiful navigation bar and we have a bunch of images. We tap onto one and we segue. Let's see this. See that? All right, pretty cool. Now, we don't see the image. It's because there is no image in the image. Oh my God. Uh, there's no image in the detail view controller yet. This is by default nil. That's why when we set it over here in the view did load, it is, the image is nil, All right? So now we have to prepare for the segue. So let's prepare for segue. Prepare for segue like this, and we check if the segue dot identifier is equals to the storyboard dot shell detail view controller. If that is indeed that segue, then we are going to get the detail view controller to be the segue the destination, and we cast it down as a detail view controller. And finally, we do the detail VC dot image to be our sender as an UI image like that. Oh, sorry. We have the uh, selected image here. So that's detail. Oops. Come on. Here we go. Detail VC dot image to be our selected image. Make sense? All right. Now let's run the app. And hopefully this time it is working. Okay, so this app, click into this, it works. Beautiful. Good job. Now, do you see that it is kind of like when we go back here, ah, uh, there's that little thing. There's two reasons, actually. Number one is that because of simulator, there's some like uh, delayed of the animation. 
And in number two, mostly is number two, is that this image by default, it is not clip to bounce, meaning that the image is bigger than that thing. So we want to select the clip to bounce like that. Okay, so that any uh, size, any other things of the image that goes way over this bound will be clips, will be cut off like that. Cool, so we have this thing and it's working now. See that, there's no delay, there's no extra image booms out like that and the other thing this is just your per personal preference is you can do what you can do is you can make this putting this inside a scroll view so that the user can pinch and zoom and pinch and zoom those kind of things or you can put this thing as aspect fit like this so make it aspect fit okay here we go click here and we have this photo Pretty cool, huh? Now what we want to do is you can having a scroll view and then you hold the command key, I'm sorry, option key to have two fingers and you can scroll, uh, zoom, pinch to zoom the image, just like that. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. That is how you use a segue with UI collection view data delegate to transition from one screen to another using with the tap gesture with a cell. I hope that you enjoy this. And a lot of you ask me questions, things like about socialize your apps, things like, are you have lifetime access to the course? Yes, you have lifetime access to the course. All the trainings are already there for you to level up your skills, to jump to the next level of iOS development, to build apps like Instagram or Nike e-commerce store. And those are real apps. You are going to build that. We are going to build that from scratch together. So if you love to check out the program, please do that right this week. Do it today, do it now because all the bonuses will go away this week because I will I will not be able to give out that much of bonuses anymore just to you as our subscribers this week. So please do it now. Until then, I see you in the next training. Go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.